When you think of fan service, what do you think? Opai? Ass? Thighs? Legs? All of it. Yes. What about spit? <coughs> mysterious Girlfriend X is a weird anime, and regarding the title, it's very mysterious. Drool or spit or whatever you want to nickname your saliva is the centerpiece in this show. Again, this show is weird yet pulled me in to complete it in one day, which says a lot to my anime watching history these past years. Now, imagine a girl sleeping and she leaves her drool on the school desk after you wake her up and she leaves. Do you A, get a towel and clean it up for her, B, leave it alone for someone else to deal with, or C, lick and swallow her spit after she leaves? That, that ladies and gentlemen, is the biggest cash winner ever in this game, and he deserves it. Now, I'm not a germaphobe, but I wouldn't eat spit off a desk even if she was my girlfriend, and we passively do so when we kiss. In any case, 17 year old Tsubaki boy here going through life decides to swallow some of her spit because he has the big horny. And the story goes from there. Normalizing weirdness. That's the best way I can explain this show. The actions characters do don't feel out of place and feel normal. Anyone who sees them doesn't question it, and having an exposure to it for 13 episodes, it became normal for me to see. Things are left unanswered and my questions never left throughout the series. Urabe is the mysterious girlfriend who gives her drool to Tsubaki, which in turn swallows her spit. She can transfer whatever emotion and physical thing attached to her via secretions from her. That includes sweat, you fucking perv. How did she get this passive power? Why does swallowing spit seem normal in the show? How did she get good with scissors? Yeah, she's really good with scissors, by the way. It's never answered. Never ending weirdness following adolescence with a couple in high school that doesn't kiss but exchanges spit instead. The anime. One look and the art style looks dated, but it's from 2012, the same year Attack on Titan made its wall-breaking debut. The general feel of the show going from its small world feels nostalgic. I may be showing my age, but it reminds me of my weird yet youthful days in high school. Wanting a girlfriend, joining sports, getting into the devil's lettuce at one point. Unlike other romance school anime that has some fan service to push the story or extremely wholesome moments, this show doesn't, in a sense. There is fan service technically, but doesn't feel like it said that's so rare and not the main focus. And the wholesome moments come from the weirdness they share. Yeah, that part where she drinks his spit instead. Oh my god, that was so cute. Um, with no context, I may have to ask if this really is an anime and not leaning toward Red Light Fap District. The synopsis alone brought confusion, yet curiosity in me. There's some fetishes out there, and I guess Drool is just another one added to that list? If you like anime with lewd handholding or anything you'd see in a school setting, then this show isn't for you. While it does take place in a school setting, majority of things that happen wouldn't happen in a school. School Days is a good example if you want a wholesome romance show that takes place in school. Rewinding back to the story of Urebe and Tsubaki, I'd say it's about their personal perspectives of relationships. While looks and voice may be a factor for sexual attraction because my god, Urebe's voice actress? Holy shit, she sounds fucking amazing. I got hard. It's not always the main thing to look for. Through the exchanges of their saliva, they understand each other exactly how they feel in those moments. It's deeper than outside appearances for anyone who's looking in. Just think of saliva as a mediator for knowing someone better. Want to know how someone's feeling? Put your finger in their mouth and <laughs> eat their spit. Too poor to buy LSD? Go lick someone's sweat to go to the beach and escape the year that is 2021. See someone drink a glass of milk by itself? <laughs> Call the police. Without revealing too much about this show, I will tell you some good things. Things happen fast but have a way to feel natural. You're always engaged because of the weirdness and the wholesome moments that come from it. The OST is mysterious too and makes you wonder what the theme of the story could actually be. Not your typical couple that you see everywhere but the couple that some people may avoid. It's a fun 13 episode show with a banger OP and a great ending too, mixed with moments I wouldn't normally see as fine to watch comfortably. Normalize weirdness. It's okay to be weird among others and to appreciate different parts of people, like spit or something. Because how odd this anime made me feel, the small wholesome moments that did happen felt that much stronger compared to other shows that involve relationships. So, should you watch Mysterious Girlfriend X? Yes. Until next time. That.